What's going on guys, Michael Lee here, your Realtor of the Palm Beaches, and I'm back with another property tour for you guys today. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee, your Realtor of the Palm Beaches, and it's my job to help you guys find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city, please consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new neighborhood tours, property tours, as well as real estate information. So just a little bit of information about the neighborhood we're going to be touring. It's called Lakeside Green. Now there are three sections to Lakeside Green. Today we're gonna to be in Lakeside Green number two. And that, well, I guess small subdivision will feature 164 homes. All of them were built in 1984, two bedrooms, two baths, and they span about maybe 1,100 square feet all the way up to 1,300 square feet, a little bit over 1,300 square feet in the larger units. Now this neighborhood is pretty good for maybe someone looking to downsize, an older individual that doesn't need as much room as they once needed to use, or a, maybe a starter home for anybody looking to buy their first property because these price points are gonna be the most affordable in West Palm Beach. Now the property we're gonna be seeing today is going to be two bedrooms, two baths, a little bit over 1,100 square feet, and it's gonna be 275,000. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, welcome to Lakeside Green, where we're gonna check out this two bedroom, two bath condo slash apartment. Now, this one will be probably one of my quicker tours as it's just two bedrooms, but this will be a great starter home or someone looking to downsize. So we're gonna start off to my left. This is the living area, where as you can kind of see, this property recently went under a renovation so you'll still see some construction material throughout the property as we walk through now as you can see there's a lot of natural light vaulted ceilings in the living room and it's directly on the street which some people don't like but this neighborhood is pretty quiet so if you have children, I think it'll be a great thing, but if you're an older person looking for something quiet, you probably wouldn't want to choose this one as it's directly across the street from my elementary school. First bedroom, off to my right, as you kind of see, they kind of have the office door set up. Um, it is a bedroom because they do have the closet as well as windows. So this is the smaller of the two bedrooms, but you do have a front facing property that you have some views of the lake in front. And you can see when guests are coming and going as well. Closet here, pretty simple setup, double door entry as well. So even if you live by yourself, you're downside and you only need one bedroom, this could be a perfect office for you. Or if you're a young professional looking to start somewhere and get your first place, this could be an office as well if you're working from home. Small area in the front for the dining area that's connected directly to the kitchen. We'll check that out in a second. And we're gonna veer off to my right down this small hallway to check out the first of two baths. This is a full bath. We have the tub, as well as the vanity. Pretty simple setup, straightforward. And then we will go into the primary suite. Now off to my right is a little patio right off the primary bedroom with the AC unit as well as some other stuff from construction. So we're not really gonna check that out too much. Um, ceiling fan, this is very unique. I have not seen one of these in my property tour. So every time I look at one of these properties, man, it, it really, really, really surprised me with the choice of ceiling fans they choose to go with. Excuse the fire alarm, so I might have to change the battery. Closet here, you have two separate closets in this room. So one standard closet that you'll pretty much see in all homes. And if I veer to my right, they upgraded the walk-in closet. All right, so pretty well done. Vanity setup, straight through. Uh -huh. 
a lot of counter space, as well as the bath. Now, let's go check out the kitchen. And a unique space where I think if you wanted to put in the work and the permitting and the time, you could have some additional space. Kitchen, pretty straightforward with the refrigerator. You have a little bit of cabinet space. They maximize, I think, the cabinet space here. You even have space for maybe a rolling island if you wanted to have some space here and just put it to the side and just have that as some additional storage space or additional counter space if you wanted to. Um, they do have the laundry right off the kitchen, which is pretty straightforward. You know, that can even be, you know, some additional storage space as well with the custom cabinets if you want to put it on this side or custom shelving or, you know, whatever your heart desires. I feel like that's a space you can do some creativity in as well. Now, right off the kitchen is this space that is probably for the patio, but they do have a window to this space as well, um, which means that I'm not sure if you can get the permitting for it, but you can maybe possibly turn this into some additional interior space. I'm not sure if it's allowed or not, but this space is kind of like a flex space at least directly to the outdoor with a view of the lake as well. Um, and it's just another another little flex space, you know? So that could be something where you could maybe knock the wall down, maybe add some additional space, maybe knock this wall down and extend it out where you have maybe a little bit larger space. I'm not sure, but that's gonna be an idea that could be perfect for you guys. So with that being said, that's gonna conclude it. If you guys are interested in finding out more information, just send me a quick message or leave a comment below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.